So I'd like to hand the next presentation over to Jean Ribert Francois, talking about harvesting well being, examination, and consideration of, for community by agricultural producers. So, a little bit about myself. Uh, you can call me Jean. And uh, I'm now a, a graduate student at Kansas State University, the Department of Geography. My previous education was in agricultural economics and community sciences. What matters to me right now in terms of research is to understand, understand how a uh, interaction between human activities and environment shape the uh, world landscape and communities. And my dissertation focuses on exploring consideration of community in farming decision. So nothing new here and I feel like this picture is really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, that is the ser uh, the ser model of sustainability that talk about the three pillars of sustainability. They have people, production, and profit. And by people, uh, people who depend on agriculture. And by that, I mean, I would say everybody on earth depend on ag uh, some way. Uh, they connect to get food, things like that. Uh, some people connect more directly to it, but every one of us uh, connect to, to agriculture. And also we need to, to protect, protect our land and water that what uh, our food production depend on, our resource base, and also the little, little green uh, circle over there is directly for, for uh, farmers, I can say, uh, that the agriculture, agriculture profession should uh, allow people that connect to it, like farmers, for example, to live happily. And really a lot of, we cannot talk right now about a community well-being without like referring to this growing discussion about sustainability and sustainable development, because uh, including community in our action or in farming uh, decision-making, it's like a sustainability action. And the, it, there's a lot of uh, discussion about sustainability and sustainable development. And a lot of this discussion, whether it's in the academic space or in organization, they consider or they feature well-being as an outcome for sustainability. And when I say well-being here, I, I, I see both individual human, a, individual well-being and community well-being as outcome of sustainability. And there is a various a discussion, various a proposition on how to a, integrate, include a sustainability thinking in our everyday action. But a, that's not an easy task because managing for well-being is not an easy task. That would involve things like navigating complex interaction between a lot of things, economic, environmental, and social factors. And we know that that's not easy, that we need uh, strategies and it's complex, but the complexity uh, of it should, not, we should not scare about this complexity to not even start thinking about like possible ways to include that in our, in our action. So as I am studying community well-being integration in farming decision-making, so I was decided to construct a community well-being measure just to get an understanding of a baseline understanding of what is happening on the ground. So I construct this uh, index measure of well-being uh, using mostly secondary data from the US Census Bureau mostly. And I include data on basic material need, I think like food, access to food, shelter, and water. I include data on health, education, opportunity, socio social com community, and security. And the, the variation across counties, and unfortunately, some counties do not show good figure of community well-being. And most importantly, what it, it, my biggest concern was for the some agricultural communities, the data they present are really not uh, really good. That prompted my interest to like uh, exploring whether community well-being is really 
an important thing in farming decision making. So the project that I apply uh, for a the CER graduate student project program. And the project that I have is we ask for the community well-being matter in landscape management of US farming system. And this project is intended to address the three pillars of sustainability. Like in the economic side, we uh, the project try to examine if the integration of community well-being into decision making uh, can even indirectly lead to uh, better condition for, for farmers, better well-being of farmers, uh, even improving the farm profitability and also uh, economic security, things like that. In the environmental side, we're trying to see if concern for uh, environment or if concern for the broader community uh, are they in the thinking of the agricultural producer, for, ex for example, if they take that into account uh, in the in the practice and the in the social side, trying to identify some strategies to better improve uh, this perspective, like integrate community well-being into a uh, agricultural decision making. So. We use interview and survey to collect data for this. And the data was collected uh, through a larger project that my supervisor uh, collected, uh, which identify, tried to identify barriers and bridges to a diversification of agricultural system. And uh, we interview like a total of 50 a participant and we include agricultural producers and agricultural experts in the interviews. And those interviews were, were conducted in four counties and these counties uh, were selected based on the diverging trend in terms of a diversification of the, of the farming system. And we ask a lot of questions related to community integration into farming decisions. For example, uh, there is one question that uh, asks farmers to provide example of things they avoid in the in the farming uh, practice because they think this would have negative impact on the community, or think they they uh, added in the in the practice because because they think this would have positive impact on the community. We have a, a lot of questions uh, like that in the interviews, and we use data from the interviews to design the, sur the survey. Uh, and the survey was conducted uh, across like uh, 35 counties. Uh, so far, we got one of seven a valid case from, for, for this survey. And the demographics, like the for this survey, it's like a majority white. A older male, which is not different from a, a lot of things that is done in, in the literature. And yeah, this picture, a, you can show how the distribution of this, this the, the, the count where we, 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 uh, we do the survey. And those buffer in red, these are the counties where we conduct the, the interviews. And we got several inside, interesting insight from the from the interviews, and that kind of showed there is a shift in paradigm now in terms of how uh, how a uh, farmers or, or agricultural producers they continue community in 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 the decision making. For example, we, I have uh, this perspective from one participant that that try integrate, for example, the community health. Uh, they consider that, that in the in the decision making, trying to like uh, avoid to use some chemicals that they think that would be bad for the community, thing like that. But that show that suggests that uh, there is they are conscious about it. Uh, uh, they are conscious about the consequences of the of the practice on the border community, so they take action for that. That's really great, and. Another consideration that pop up from the interviews is like a resource management, a resource usage. And 
we got the people that like diminish the the use of resources just for the sake of uh, to balance the need of the community and the need of the agricultural system and and mostly with the with climate change a lot of drought uh, in the past in the past years so they they, they do that uh, this this participants say sometimes I don't like what they're doing because like, we have uh, we have people and they all come out of the river and our local community are actually pump out the river or the water in the community. So sometimes it's hard to pump water. So they try to balance that between the community need and also the, the, the farming uh, practice. So that's, that's really great, a, a good thing for both the community and the, the farmers as well. And supporting the local community and fostering the a community relationship, local a community relationship, appear emerge as one a consideration that a farmers express in the in the interviews. Like a lot of farmers, they say they prefer buying things locally instead of seeking external a source. And also, whenever possible, they try to sell the product locally whenever possible. And that, that is full of uh, these these uh, these participants say I like the country, the small town and the businesses in the small town. And I'll be honest, yeah. That's that's really uh, important. They 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 are conscious about what is going on right now in terms of economics and I see a lot of presentation this morning that talk about declining rural communities. So that's gonna be something uh, for, for for this place. And also community engagement and participation, that another thing that emerged from the discussion with farmers. And a lot of people they getting involved in in, in community activities and and for example, this uh, this farmer provide his perspective about getting young people engaged, educate them, uh, transfer agricultural knowledge in the community and to support not only uh, the present, but also the future of agriculture. So that's really great to, to see how they consciously consider community uh, well-being into their decision-making. And I can say this is a paradigm because a lot of things you see in the literature, you can see a really a negative aspect from the farming, from, from farming to community. But that really surprised me how I can get all this uh, story uh, from, from the farmers. And we got some uh, results from this survey and these are just preliminary because we, we keep uh, getting a survey uh, participant. And we asked farmers just this about the, the well-being. We asked them uh, if they are satisfied with their level of autonomy, for example, being their own boss. And uh, they, most of them, they feel like they satisfy with the level of autonomy. And also we got the same figure with when we asked about the time spent with family and also the the quality in life, quality of life in general. And most of them, they say, yes, we satisfy with that. Uh, where we got some concern is like a, a good number of farmers that say, uh, we, we're not too much satisfied with our net income. So these are two statements that we had in the interview, in the survey a, a questionnaire that first, as farmers about uh, the awareness regarding the consequences of the of the practice practice for the local community, for example, and we seek the level of agreement among the farmers, and there are quite a strong uh, level of agreement uh, about this. They are aware that the practices may uh, impact negatively or positively the community and because they are aware of that we ask this question if they take the community into consideration uh, 
in the parties. And there is a strong agreement between them. That's pretty good. They are aware of that. And also they act to, to take into consideration what is going on in the community. So this group of, of question uh, ask what matters for being a good father. Uh, like the high yield and high profit, these two types is like a really a traditional thing, like being maximizing profit and and uh, it, 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 like that. But uh, with this question here, trying to balance uh, economic gain and environmental consideration, you can see a lot of a lot of the participants they say yes, which I don't believe that's important for us right now. And also this is a question over here uh, that try to see the long term perspective versus short term perspective. A lot of people they say yes. Uh, we try to consider the long term in our back in our uh, in our business. Uh, they they are trying to look at the, the future generation. And a lot of them they say yes we take the community help. Uh, this is important for us in our practice uh, to be a good farmer right now. And these are give they, they, these results they give hope because uh, we need a shift in perspective to save uh, what we have now, the reality we have now in terms of uh, consequences of, of farming, consequences of, uh, uh, of our practice. And some potential benefit for farmers and communities. Uh, I mean, here for uh, consider, considering community well-being into decision-making, that has some potential uh, benefit for both farmers and and in communities. And some of this, I, I think uh, some of this uh, from this share, we said from this share material and like enhance reputation and public relationship because I, I got some quote that uh, exemplified this. Uh, uh, it enhanced reputation and public relation when the, the farmer, for example, they try to consider the community in their relation and uh, get active in the community thing like that that try to that try to uh, have a better image uh, in the in the community and also that that kind of create more opportunities for them to uh, to sell their product or thing like that and also that kind of help them collaborate and have more people to collaborate with policymakers and researchers and even among farmers as well when they want to do that to do that and the overall objective they enhance farmer well-being when they when they okay. uh, try to integrate community in their practice because having strong tie in the community that is something really important to improve a uh, well-being uh, here I have these two quotes uh, trying to exemplify these a uh, benefit for farmers and communities. Like uh, the first person say, the more they stay involved in what happening in the community in the industry, the more they feel they better off. And also the the, the second farmer say, they a lot of, of things they do uh, just try to connect with people in the in in the industry in the community. So in conclusion, in from what we have so far, there are some consideration in of community in farming decision, and uh, farmers consider uh, both social, economic, and environmental factors in their decision making, and uh, we need that. That create hope. We need that because we need to like create. If we need to create a better pathway to agriculture, agricultural sustainability. So we need that a uh, conscious uh, action from, from the real actor uh, to do that. 
but the integration of community well-being into decision making is not like a simple thing that farmers just think about that but this is something that is shaped by uh, the larger concept larger context like the societal context the political thing and and the the economic thing surrounding the, the surrounding this I think this consideration is influenced by that because you can see some if you got one farmer say you got a grant and it can focus on educating youth on in the community that that shifting on the ground I think that's all I have and I want to thank my major supervisor that helped a lot and the team that uh, conduct this research, also the funding agencies, SEA, USD, and IFA, and k -State. And thank you. If you have any question, I'm happy to take them, subjection. So um, I don't know if you run or collected the data in a way to do this, but you it looked like your surveys and your interview communities were spread out across the country. Were there any, I don't know, regional effects that you noticed in terms of like this region, the farmers are more concerned about the community well-being, you know, was there anything like that or was it just kind of even across the board? Yeah, yeah, cool. That's that the analysis we are trying to do and uh, we do not get to that right now, but we are trying to do that uh, to see if there are difference between a system if they consider that that's gonna be the next step in this. I don't know if a question will come from it, but more comment. I'm really, really grateful for your idea to do this and to put it out like that because I think that quantifying uh, qualitative reasons why we're farming is so important and it makes me want more players in the big ag world to um like be doing this research and to be paying attention to it and to understand that um yeah farmers want to be good impactors on their community and just brought up the last session i went to the peace pipeline building and um the teacher there you know she's a professor but is indigenous and talked about the framework of um, even the previous session of water rights versus water responsibility and framing things as resources versus responsibility. And um, even though I know we were using those words, it just seemed like that was this mentality of um, it's not just what's mine and I want mine and you can't have it and I need it. It's more like what's our responsibility to one another. And as part of the ecosystem where we're all not just interrelated, but actually the same um, relatives with all of those, what we call resources. So mm -hmm. not a question, but I'm just feeling like so much gratitude for you putting that down yeah. um, in the way that we have to have it in numbers. Yeah. And I can say that really there is like kind of a shift in perspective how farmers consider them, themselves now mm -hmm. in terms of uh, our objective. I, in the past, they really good yield uh, that was considered as to be considered as a good farmer. You need to have good yield, but now they kind of trying to shift the perspective to include a lot of things in the in the in the in the uh, practice. That's really cool to see. And what we see, uh, an observation we see in the interviews. Farmers, they they consider community well-being in their decision, but when we do not ask them if they consider that, they do not provide that as a consideration in their practice. They more focus on market, on the economic part of it, climate change, for example, instead of will think they do in the community. That that is something. And also, we have something coming up if. It's for farmers and trying to get strategies. That's for the big project uh, that was con that conducted this this uh, 
collection, data collection. If they can uh, try to get best strategies to diversify agricultural system in the US. So that's going to be a focus group. If anyone, farmers, uh, feel interested or uh, ag professional feel interested, they can just scan this QR code and there is a form, a little form. Just put your information. We can get back to you. That's going to be in spring, January or February, thing like that. Well, uh, that concludes um, this session here. Thank you so much for coming to our conference. Thank you.